Dennis Kloss, head of the Trauma Department, District Hospital. Vladimir Vladimirovich, professional activity sometimes exhausts so much that it can completely devastate a person. I will tell you sincerely, without any irony, I can't even imagine what kind of responsibility and what kind of burden you sometimes bear. And I can't even imagine that you usually rest, as you say yourself, literally a few days a year. And in order to recover for these few days, or a vacation for several years, for example, I do not know that you are fully, as we all rest, the full volume of our vacation, do not do this either. At the same time, you look great, you are active, you have completely adequate, understandable thoughts. How are you recovering? Now, if you have a personal technique, I understand sports, I understand and people inspire you of our country, but I think there is still some personal secret of yours here. Thank you. A well-known joke on this score. How do you relax? I'm not straining. Well, of course it's not, because life makes you tense up. You know, here I am when. I rarely, but I meet with my classmates, classmates, and they often look at me. I don't believe it's you or not you. Do you know what's the matter? A person himself does not always understand how he will behave when he finds himself at a certain level of responsibility. Here you have just performed, we are not familiar with you. How would you personally behave if you were at the level of the general director of a large enterprise or the head of a region or at the level of a head in a plenipotentiary somewhere? Do you understand? Of course, a lot depends on the society where each person grew up. From the family first of all, all from the family. There are people sitting next to you, they have six or six children. In what atmosphere do these children live and are brought up? That they pawn their children. And this happens from generation to generation in our country. I'm not going to go into details now, but I remember my mother's stories, let's say, about how her mother, my grandmother, reacted to certain of her actions when she was still little, she was seven years old. When she drove away, nothing there, and grandma says, what are you? Catch up, return, feed. They put me to bed, fed me in the morning, and sent me away. You see, and this goes from generation to generation. This is our genetic code of our multinational people. So it develops over the years. Or I read my grandfather's letters that. I've already talked about this. He wrote a letter to his son in the active army. A simple Russian man, a peasant, writes with mistakes. He addresses his son to you. You understand the level of culture which is internal. There he tells how his grandmother died, his wife, the bullet hit, how she was dying in his arms, and how he punishes his son. To beat the fascists. This is a household letter. Here I am reading this, you see, I realized that it is impossible to defeat such a people. This is a household thing. And we have it from generation to generation, from generation to generation. Therefore, of course, there are peculiarities of each person. Psychological characteristics, health characteristics, and so on. But in general, a person, when he gets to a certain level of responsibility, either copes or not. But in general, when a person gets to this level, 
certain opportunities open up for him, which were not visible before, and no one saw. They are there. I am sure that you have it, and everyone sitting there has it, the vast majority of people have it. Well, if it is not associated with certain health restrictions. But even for people who have health limitations, their inner creative potential can be enormous. You need to love what you are doing. I love. Thank you.